y'all. Welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. Hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm going to be kitting down a round kit that I completed back in January, but just have not taken the time to kit it down. And I have changed my box. So I've changed it to this blue box. It is wider. I can get more in here. And the other boxes that I have that I've used in prior videos, I'm going to use those for my special drills. And I'm gonna start working on that um, sometime in the near future. But these are a little too tall. And I was, I was hoping I could still use the same cards, but, and they're fine, but then when I go to put the top on this, it is bending some of the cards. So I may end up changing the cards out, which I hate to because I really do like these, but I'll just have to wait and see. So I do have my box here, and then I'm going to be kitting down the kit that was in this Craft Mates, and I really do like this. I only have one of these, and these are either a hit or a miss. Um, some people really like them and some don't. But personally, I really do like these, and they do hold quite a few drills. I don't have a lot of drills left over, but I have enough to where I will be able to save them. So I'm gonna move this over and move this up some. So let's go ahead and get started. I also need to go through my box, and I need to update it a little bit. I need to put some some actual DMC numbers on some of the bags, and then also need to go through, just kind of spruce it up a little bit. But I thought I'm not gonna do that today, I will do that later. And a couple of these are actually, I'm taking one out that has some problems with the drills. And I've got two of these, and this is a Diamond Art Club kit, and I will kit the specials. I'll kit those down later. I may go ahead, I'll just go ahead and get started on this. Hopefully you'll be able to see. I might need to bring this out a little bit because that's a little bit too much. I can have some space and you can see everything that I'm doing. There's not very many colors that I have left, so it really shouldn't take me that long. I am going to just keep the two, that's uh, number 141 and 150. And these containers are really cool because there's a little button here. You just push the button and then you can raise these up. And so I'm just gonna do one at a time. And again, I don't have very many in each one but I do wanna go ahead and save them. And saving your drills isn't something that everybody does. It's not something that you have to do by any means. I do like to save my drills. I think that they do come in handy, especially if you run out of drills, and that seems to be more and more the case nowadays of running out of drills. Of course, you can contact the company, especially with Diamond Art Club. You can contact them, ask them to send you the color that you're um, short on, and they will do that. But I really, I don't like to run out because then I have to wait a week or two before I get my drills that I need. And watch, just go ahead and get my drills done. Get everything finished so I will be done with a section or an actual painting. Some of these I do not have bags for yet. And that's something I really need to take some time to do. Let's see, 211, no wonder that looks funny. I haven't kitted down so long. Let's see, this one's 211. And because this is going to be hard to try to, to actually pour into 
directly into these little bags from this container. I'm just using a tray and doing it that way. And I'm sure some can pour directly from there, but I'm not going to attempt it. And my cat, Salem, is sitting on my table just staring at me. So I really hope that she doesn't get some kind of a crazy desire to come up here right in the middle of my stuff. And she might, 223. It has been a long time since I've kitted down. I don't think I've kitted down since January, or actually since December. It's just, I just haven't done it. And I finished kits. I guess I have kitted down a couple of kits and I've, I actually have a couple of videos where I did kit down, especially on my Josephine Wall Diana. I did kit that one down. That was around. I kitted down a couple of squares. I do need to work on updating my square box. And this box only includes regular drills. It does not include any ABs or any crystals. I'm going to put those in a separate box or container. I'm still going back and forth how I want to store those. I'm honestly not sure. And I've been watching other videos to see what other people do. Angie um, has an excellent video of her kitting down. Got a couple of stragglers. I'm gonna pull these out if I can. I don't, I'll just do that later, I guess. My dye painting pen that I had out is actually, I'm using that to hold it back the DMC number that I'm on. So that's okay. I can worry about that later when I go to spruce some of these up. But Angie has a really good system that she has just set up with hers and she's using her art dot container. And I thought about that. I don't know, I really like the way it looks, the way that she did it, but I don't know if that's gonna work for me. And she does have a much larger selection than I do. But I don't know, I just don't know yet if I want to kit it up that way or if I just want to kit it up in baggies. And honestly, I'm leaning more towards using these baggies, maybe using a larger size that I do have in my stash, using those for crystals and for my ABs and just keep them in a box in order like I'm doing with these. But I'm not, I'm honestly not sure. I'm going back and forth between doing it that way. Um, also, um, Diamond Paintings by Laura, she is using a system that she purchased from Amazon and it's more like a portfolio, I think. And I like that idea too. But I know what I have been working on, I've been doing, it's not gonna work because I am now starting to get more on the specials and really get into it. Because at first I thought, oh, I'm not gonna do very many special drills. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, you've been doing quite a bit. If I can pour this through here, let me see. Oh, I can do it. I figured I would make a huge mess. That would be a lot easier if I can do it that way. And I am taking the, the stickers off of these. It's not leaving any residue. Um, as I mentioned, this was a Diamond Art Club kit. And their stickers aren't, typically I haven't had any problems. They're not permanent stickers. The main problem that I've had lately with their stickers is that they're not staying on. Um, trying to see, I'm matching these just 
this one's gonna be hard to do, but I also wanna make sure this is the same color. It looks the same. I do try to match these. I don't want several different colors in here. I think that one is several different colors. Okay, that did not match as well as I thought it did. I really am trying to make sure the colors match. I like to reuse my drills for cross stitch conversions. And then also even using the, the rounds. I don't like to use the rounds for cross stitch conversions. That will be all, all squares. But with the cross stitch conversion, I definitely will be saving all of my square spares. This is a different color, totally different color, I think. Let me see. I can tell. Maybe not. No, I guess it's about the same. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell in this light. But with my round drills, DIY Moon Shop has come out with some canvases that you can choose between round or square, and they sell the canvases only. You don't get a, anything with them. You do not get any drills. You don't get a tool kit. And I ordered a couple of those when I had a coupon and they were on sale, and I actually ordered rounds because I didn't know what I was gonna use my rounds for. And then all of a sudden, I happened to have seen where they're now doing that. And I thought that is one perfect way to be able to use my spare rounds. And I really don't want to have to go through and pick out colors that match or don't match on the colors. So, I'm trying my best to make sure that they do match. And there's a lot of diamond painters that do not like to save their drills. They hate to kit down. They will just either throw their drills away or put them in some kind of a container just so it looks pretty. And that's fine too. It's not a requirement that you save your drills, as I mentioned earlier. I just prefer to save mine. And some of these have got little stragglers in here. And when I, if I need to use a particular color, then I'll just pull them out. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. That one. I'm usually really careful when I down the paint, but you know, every once in a while, you're gonna have a drill that gets stuck in your tray and you're not really aware of it. And then you go and you try to get your drills out of your tray and then you have a couple of stragglers that's come through. And that really doesn't bother me. And it probably bothers a lot of other people I've got two number 600s here because they are two different colors, it looks like. And this one's another one that's totally different. So I guess I have three bags. Let's see, this may be, this one's really bright and I'm pretty sure the two, one of these that I have, is a diamond art club and they're totally different. Not even close. Okay, I will just keep all of those in. Because you never know. I like how large this box is because I can get more in here. I don't want to have a bunch of boxes. And if I do, I do. And I want this to look really nice and pretty, so I am probably going to have to go through and redo all these cards, and I really don't want to do 
do that. If I have to, I will, but honestly, I don't want to. It's a lot of work. I have a Cricut, which is a cutting machine. I can set this up and cut it to whatever size I want and also make labels, but even doing it that way, it still takes a really long time to do. And I'd rather be diamond painting or doing something else than all of the preparation. I love to organize. That's something I really enjoy doing, but not when I have to do that. The preparation is not so much fun. So six, eight, five. But more than likely, I'm going to have to, because I don't like how these cards are bending. That I'm afraid will bother me. I want to keep the top on. I keep these on a shelf in my craft room. I prefer to keep the top on the boxes. I don't want to just have it without the top. But I don't like how this is doing. And though this one is really bent up. I don't like that. Doesn't have to be perfect or anything, but I really don't care that it's bent. I'm not really crazy that it's bent up so much. 718. The sun just went into. I hope I have enough light on my table here. Our weather has been absolutely insane. I'm not sure about that. Let me see. That's the same color. Our weather has been insane here. Normally in Georgia, around this time of year, it's already in the 80s. And yesterday we were in the 50s. Which it's nice if you're out in the sun. Today, I think it's supposed to get up to about 74. And so if you're working out in the yard, which we do a lot, oh, that was not, this is not very good. Um, we work out in the yard quite a bit this time of year. And so it's usually really hot, especially when you have to do a lot of things, you know, from the winter. And that's been a plus that you're not burning up when you're going outside, but still, now you're really cold. So 7.54. Some of these aren't even close on the colors. I probably am gonna go through the ones that I don't think are close, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna separate them. That's not gonna be today. It will be sometime, but not today. That looks pretty good. Hopefully you guys can't hear my husband. He is working out the yard. He's doing a lot of cleanup. It's kind of close to my window. I've been wanting to kit this down so I can use my containers. I need to get some drills that are inside there and get out to 758. I think most of these are in DMC order. I'm pretty sure I kept these in DMC, which makes it really nice when you're kidding up and kidding down. That looks pretty good. I do have in several of these, I have drills that are different colors. I was working on this using a lap tray, and that may have been the problem. All right, let's see. What do I have coming up for this week? In terms of diamond painting, you will see this on Monday. I am recording on Sunday afternoon and I'm trying
trying to see how much I can get recorded today. Ooh, that one's almost full. Let's see, I have two different colors of this. That's not even, that's the wrong color. Okay, 8, 14, that one's almost full, and I don't think this is the same color. Ooh, that's way darker. That is much darker than that one, I believe. Drawing, it's hard to see. Mm, I'll put it in here and then I can tell that her. Yeah, that's a slightly different. Mm, I think it's the same color. It's hard to tell. I think that's the same color. I'm gonna put just a couple in there and see. So I'm not putting the whole thing. And this one's almost full anyway. I may wanna start another bag. I usually just keep one bag in here. And in this particular, in this particular box, and then I have extras that I have leftover drills that I will also, if I have any extras, I will just include in another box. That way if anybody else needs any, then I'll pull them out of that box. Put those in here. The dog just started barking, wonderful. All right, so that's 814. did not run out of drills on this kit, but I also didn't have a lot of drills left over. 818. But as long as I don't run out, I'm pretty much happy. There's 818. I'm not sure if this one's the same either. That's the same color. So as far as dime painting, I started talking about that and kind of stopped. Um, I am got this one going up on Monday. On Tuesday, I will have my weekly whip and chat. I like to record those on Mondays, just the day before. That way I can tell you everything that happens up until my whip and chat. And then that is Tuesday. On Wednesday, I'm not sure on the exact dates or days for next week, but I have a kidding up. There's not any left in there. I have a kidding up that I'm going to be doing. That's going to be the rounds on a project that I'm working on. Of diamond painting shops where I'm going to be working on a round and a square of the same kit. I need to kit the rounds up. Squares have already been kitted up. I'm not sure again what date that's going to be. I also have an unboxing that I have been needing to do and I just haven't. So I will be working on that. And that will probably go out, I think, towards the end of the week is what I am looking at. And then I have my Saturday. I've been doing on Saturdays. I think I'm taking a break this week. But I've been doing the Saturday, my cross-stitch conversion project. I think I'm going to take a break, not have that next Saturday, so I may have my unboxing on Saturday. And I will also have another fun Friday. I've gotten a discount company that has come in, and so I will be unboxing that on Friday. I not gonna have anything for Sunday. So I have five videos that I plan on 
having come out this upcoming week. Last, last two weeks, I really haven't had that many videos. I've had at least two, but I have not had very many more from that, maybe three. But I need to really get caught up on some videos now that I am finished with the spring term. I have a little bit of time, but the summer term is starting. So that is going to take up some time. I've got to finish getting my classes set up, but then once I get all of that done, summer will not be bad for work. I do have to start working on my fall classes and that does tend to take some time to work on because we do get new books. Usually it's, the, it's gonna be the same publisher, it's just a new edition. And publishers are the worst about that. Every fall, majority of publishers will come out with another edition and it can be just some minor changes, but it doesn't matter as long as there's at least one table that changes or one example, then they can consider that as a new edition. And they do. 963. So with a new edition, we also will have to set up new assignments and that kind of thing. This one also has a lot in it. I don't think I'm gonna save these. Okay, so my next one, 33.50, and this one, I need to work on this a little better too, where I need to set this up a little better. I don't like how this is laying. I need to put some more in there, I think, or put something in the back that's going to hold those. Okay, I've had to stop a couple of times, so I hope I am still on my right train of thought here. This one, I don't know why all, there's so many different colors in here. This one's 3371. 33, I don't have a 3371, I do, okay. Yeah, I really need to work on my little box. And probably will go ahead and change these out Goodness, I don't want to. So anyway, I keep jumping back and forth and I do apologize for that. Normally it's just me home when I'm doing videos. My husband is home because it's a weekend. It's also a holiday weekend. And so he is home until Wednesday. And he's doing yard work so he keeps coming in and out of the house, getting something to drink or whatever. 30. 687, but definitely be on the lookout for more content this week. 3687, I also have some new drills that I purchased that I need to put in my Spare boxes. That won't be this week, but those are some upcoming videos for next week. I think there's another one that I finished, so that's good. There is one of these, and I do not remember what color until I get to it, that they all clump together. And I had to get my little I call a crusher, and I had to get those out to get them apart. So when I do get to that color, I'm not going to save it. Taking those two out here, 
These are wanting to stick. And this is pretty good considering I did not use any washi to put under the labels and they've been on here since December. If I kit it up in December, finished in January on this particular kit, and they're not leaving any residue, so that is definitely a plus. Okay, now this one is 3608. Some of these now are not gonna be at their own in order. I really need to put some things underneath here. I didn't do it. That's really bugging me. 3608. Go over here. There's 08. Got a sticker on my hand. Let's see if this matches. And it looks like it does. I don't know. These are the new Diamond Art Club drills and they look a lot brighter than the other drills of Diamond Art Clubs, which is really cool, but it's kind of hard to tell. I put them in here and then it's too late. That's good. This isn't going to take very long at all, whereas some of mine have taken an hour 36, I don't know, 3607. Okay, there's 3607. Let's take a look at this one. I have been able to get quite a bit of diamond painting done, so that's been a plus. But I'm nowhere near completion on any of my diamond paintings right now. I mean, not even close. These are inside. I'm not gonna do this on camera because it's just kind of a pain. I'm gonna take all of these out. And there's just a couple of drills that have gotten stuck underneath the plastic because this was really, it, whenever I heated this up, it had quite a bit of static. And I think that's why some of these maybe have gotten caught. Okay, this is 3688. I don't have one for 3688. And I am definitely going to go through all these bags and put DMC stickers on them. I'm not doing them now because I want all my stickers to be the same. So I'm going through and putting stickers on all of these, changing out the stickers. Let's see. This is 3689. A lot of these cards are getting bent. Lots of, I'm gonna have to spend some time on that. But maybe that's not the same color. I don't think. No, I'm not even close. Look at my bag. Do if you ever use these craft mates? Do you like them? I know there's just a lot of people that don't. And I can definitely see why that somebody wouldn't like these. There's pros and cons to these. 3705. I think I have a 30. I don't have a 3705. This isn't good. Let's see, okay. Okay. So I did stop and put the rest of the cards in. I didn't think I would need them, but apparently I do. I didn't think I had that many of the higher numbers. So I just took them out of my older box and put them in here. So let's see. 
This is 3705. I don't know why organization, even just keeping drills, I don't know why that is such a process for me to decide what I want to do, but I don't want to have to keep changing it up. So I want to decide on what size I want and then go from there. Because this is very time consuming on setting this little box up. Let's see, oops. Which is not you know, horrible, but it, you know, it takes time away from doing other things like dumb thing. Let's see, I got. 3726. And I think now, finally, I'll be able to start recording again in my craft room and not in my dining room. Because it didn't sound very good during the winter because the heat, when it kicked on, it was very loud because I'm in the basement. But now that it's gotten warmer, we turned our heat off. Although last night we probably could have used it. Okay. And that way I will not have to bring everything up and down the stairs. I will have everything together, which makes it extremely nice. I prefer to have everything together. 3731. Let's see. I'm not sure. That doesn't look to be the same. Look in here. Check this out. That's definitely not the same. Okay, we need to get another. I have plenty of these little bags. I do have the larger bags as well. And if, it's like a half an inch wider, but that's still, you can put quite a bit more in there. So if I end up changing these cards, then I will probably end up Going ahead and going with the larger bags. If you can do one thing, you might as well do both, I guess. Okay. Let's see, 3770. Right, 3770. I will include, in case anybody's interested, all of the links, if I can, of where I ordered everything from on my kidding down process here. then kit down, it, unless I have a lot of static, and then no. And lately I have had static in anything that I open or static. And the way that our weather has been, highly unlikely that static is gonna go away. For me anyway. I'm loving all the bright colors in this. The kits I've been working on lately are just loaded in blue. And I love blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Okay, 3801. That one's 3801. Gosh, and there's a lot of blue in this one. This is not like me. I don't know what has happened. 
I do not normally have all of these color, other color drills in here. I'm not exactly sure why they are all messed up. The next one is the purple that I think was in this red. That one is 3803. how the majority of these I do not have any bags started. I don't have any spares on these larger numbers. And I can see the upcoming DMC that I had so much problems with. I'm definitely not saving that one. I'm not going to fight it again. That one is 3804. 3804. It's going to be interesting. When I finish my Josephine wall, the one I'm working on now with 220 colors on the kitting down, I did kit down my 250 color J wall on my channel. And I realized after I started doing it, which was too late, it was around. And I am going to keep my Josephine wall, my diamond painting Deutschlands, all of those kits. I am going to keep the drills separate. So that what I may do is I probably will have to make some more of the cards for that. And I will keep squares and rounds together. Um, I only have right now what I have left for my Diamond Painting Deutschland kits. They're all squares. And then when I go to buy more kits from that company, and it's going to be a long time because I've got to get the ones I have done first. When I get those finished, that's going to be my reward is buying another one, but it's going to be a while. And I love their square drills. I Those are some of the best square drills that I have ever used. But their colors are all different. None of the rounds on my Diamond Painting Deutschland matched the colors that I already had. So I did put those in their own bags. I am not going to keep these drills. These are the ones that were stuck and they were stuck really bad. So I am not going to keep those. I am just going to put those in my discard pile. For now, I'm just gonna leave them in here. And then I'll just put those in my discard pile later. Um, let's see, I have 3830. There's not really enough of this to save. I'm not gonna keep those either. 3831. And my little discard, I have it's a container that looks like a fire hydrant. And so on that one, I just put drills that I'm not going to use to dye paint, but they will be used to make shaker cards or to give them away. My neighbor likes those. She does different art activities with her students. 
And so she was buying a, a bunch of stones and different things. And so we started talking. And so now she just uses my drills that would be considered trash drills. So that way they're still going to a good use, even though they're not, can't use the diamond painting, but they're not just being thrown away. 38, 35. And then I have friends that make cards in a card group. And so I gave them back in like February, I think it was, I gave all of them a bunch of baggies just full of various colors, just whatever was in my, in my container, in my discard container. And so they all separated those and they're using those and they haven't asked for any more yet, but when they do, they're there and they're waiting for them. They are ready. These, because they are, they're really clumpy. I am not going to save those even for them. I don't think I can even put them in a, in a card. It's going to be too clumped up. And not all of these are clumpy in here, but the majority of them are. And I did have to go through. I put them in my little crusher and that did help, but I don't want to do that again. And I don't want them to get stuck together again. And then I have to fight them. It's just not worth it. Okay, and that's the same thing with these. That's my little trash pile there that I had of this one color. Very unusual for Diamond Art Club for those to be so clumpy like that. And I have, it's not really a crusher because crushing means you'd be tearing it up, but it's a grinder. So I have this little grinder that I use to help separate the drills and they do work and you can purchase that through any of the discount companies has those too. And I'm sure that Amazon has some. Okay, so this is done. It is empty. I can close this and it will go on my shelf when I want to kit up and use this container. And then I also have all my cards here, and I just don't like how, they're, how they lay. And when I put the top on them, that's where I have the problem, is because when they start to really get messed up. And that's how these are over here too. I just don't like how they, how they lay down. But I think a lot of it is because I don't have enough drills in some of these. But all these first ones, how they curl up, and I might be able to put something there so that way the box doesn't crush the front ones. So we'll see. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for spending time with me this afternoon while I kitted down, which I desperately needed to do. And hope that you have a great rest of your weekend. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.